What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing IC and guys we're back today with day 2 of Alliance Team Battle and IC is actually going to be going after Datora. Now the last time Datora had a crap load of links. This time not so much, he's got the status effect on but I'm expecting him to be hella tanky so today we're going to be doing the same strategy yesterday but we're going to try out a new uh, tribe called the Piggyback Tribe I believe by uh, Kamui, Guy, and Lee. It's an A tribe against a T, so I'm hoping it does well. But first and foremost, we want to try the connected feelings. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video against Hadan, you guys can go there. You can see the 81 or 83 million, uh, million damage that I did. Uh, I don't think the same is going to happen here with Datora because it's a T unit versus a D unit yesterday. So we will see a little bit less damage, but we want to see how much they can still do. Now the real test is going to come when we fight um, the new Datora Sublime or Itachi. Uh, the OG Itachi, right? Because we want to see how much it does to a to an A A unit versus a T and a D. But we'll see what we do here to a T unit. And like I said last time, um, he was a lot tankier. So I'm hoping that at least a little bit of that tankiness is gone. Because last time's links, I think he had quite a few, he had like three or four of them, making him really hard to kill. So you saw there, the first attack was 5.6 million, and their size S2. Uh, Gar's S2 is not necessary. You do need his his uh, trait, and that's the, that's the only, only important important part. Now. Dator doesn't actually do enough damage to kill anybody. His biggest threat realistically is making you restart non-stop. Uh, and by that I mean like he does do a stun with an AoE. So if one person gets stunned, it's pretty much a uh, good game. You gotta pretty much start over every time. So let's see if that is the case here. The The goal here is to stun him with Shikamaru like that. There we go. And then you get Dator right here to do um, his defense down. There it is right there. And then Kakashi can go ahead and do that Jutsu. Now, I kind of messed up with Kakashi. I wanted him to end up doing his uh, S2, but he didn't have it. Uh, so let's see here what Connecting Feelings does now with the Shadow Bind da uh, damage rate reduction and with the defense down, right? So we did 5.6 million. Let's see what the Stack Tribe does here on the second round. I'm hoping to see a little bit more than 20 million. Oh, 19. 19.2. Okay, okay. So that's still not bad, guys. So let's see, let's see what we do in the third one. The third one is usually the big one, right? It does about closer to 30 million. Let's see if we can crack that this time around. So let's see Psy S2, perfect. So here you want to always do, like I mentioned yesterday, Psy S2. You always want to pull off Gara's Jutsu because he does the attack up. And his trait in itself is good enough just by being alive. And then, of course, Jiraiya is there for the buffs, including the Tribe Gauge. So let's hope no stun happens. Perfect. Okay, good. So that's the key, guys. If you guys get stunned, reset the game because there's no, there's no point in going... Half-assed here. Okay, perfect. He's got his. So now that's going to raise T units attack. So, I mean, I'm sacrificing probably about a million damage by doing that, but I'm probably giving uh, a couple million to uh, the tribe, right? So that's why you don't want to actually end up doing uh, Kakashi Jutsu. You actually want to do the S2 as many times as you possibly can. There we are. All right, now the tribe itself is a T tribe. Mama Sakura is a T. So by doing Kakashi, K Kakashi's uh, S2, you're actually giving her and the tribe a boost. So let's see guys, let's see what we pull off here. 30, okay, so about 37 million. So that's really, really good against a T unit. Okay, so there we go. That's the first match done, guys. Let's check out the percentage and see what we look at. Now remember, so there you go, 2.78, 60, let's say 64, round up, 64 million. That's not bad at all, that's not bad. Okay, so yesterday we were doing about like, I think 81 or 82 million, right? So it's, it's a whole different ball game when you fight another T unit. So let's take a look to see what the rewards are. And then we'll go ahead and jump into the um, the next match. And this is the this is the time where I actually want to try to see how the piggyback uh, tribe does with Kamui, Guy, and Lee. And if it doesn't do well, guys, I will be resetting because I don't want to sacrifice ISC's uh, percentage in terms of beating this. So we'll see how it goes for the first two tribes. If it doesn't do well, then we're going to go ahead and reset. Now what this tribe ends up doing actually is giving you a little bit of a boost from a defense, but also gives you a massive boost in critical damage rate. Um, the problem is it doesn't give you crit rate up. So we're going to kind of depend on Datara's Jitsu to give us the crit up, crit up that we need in order for this to crit. So let's, let's go ahead and start this off and let's just see how much damage we do from turn one. Now the big thing is this is an A tribe, so technically it should do pretty good numbers to a T unit, but it is also a level 1 tribe, and I haven't completed leveling guy and Lee, they're about 60k each, oh, that's brutal, 2.9, okay, so 2.9 million guys, let's see if we can do a little more on the second stack, if the second stack doesn't look massive, because this does give us 55% up on crit damage, which is a lot, um, if we don't get a lot out of that one, we're probably going to just probably reset at this point, just because I don't want to sacrifice it, right, because at the end of the day, 
it should scale pretty high. If it doesn't scale high enough on the second turn, chances are the third turn is going to be very similar in scale and we probably won't see the numbers we want to see. Um, so yeah, that's that's the big thing. Just keep that in mind when doing this. Okay, so nothing there. Let's go ahead and hopefully we get a shadow stitch and we can... Um, the shadow bind, sorry, there we go. Nothing, okay. No stun here. I'm assuming, oh, good stun. Coming out clutch there. 15%, okay, perfect. So now the key is I can't stun in this turn and I can't stun the next turn. So Dator is definitely going to pull off a Jitsu. And we'll see if we get a stun off. Uh, sorry, if he gets a stun off on me, which will cause me to reset anyways. All right, so let's see what this looks like now. Nine, wow, nine million only. Yeah, okay, so we went up. We went up seven million, guys. Uh, connected feelings, I believe, goes up closer to like 16 million. So definitely not as good at this point. I think it's not worth even attempting the, th the third one. Um, so there you go, guys. So I know a lot of people are trying out the comrades um, as well, too, and New Team 7. That's probably going to hit very similar to those. But also, I don't have it up. So I'm going to actually go ahead and focus on getting that tribe up fully and get the units up. And then we'll actually see how it does at its full capacity. It might actually do well if we can get lucky. All right, guys, let's reset and we'll go ahead and jump back to connect the feelings and uh, and do another turn here and finish that off. All right, so we're back here, guys. Um, so here we are back to so we tried this out didn't work out the piggyback one um, I was gonna go ahead and attempt the the bonds by Rasen, but the thing is with the new Minato tribe It does 60% more damage to D units So it doesn't really make any sense to use that because we're fighting a T So we're gonna go ahead and do this one I have had uh, arms from Clover shout out to arms and the Clover team for checking out the heavy Converging in darkness uh, with the heavy Orochimaru and, uh, and Kabuto one and it looks like it does very similar damage to um the piggyback one so that also is not unfortunately a good a tribe so it looks like we're really missing a really good a tribe like we have good t tribes and i, I believe the d tribe from boruto papa sasuke and naruto kage sr is really good as well it, it is more of a defensive buff but it still is really good for a d tribe uh, but we don't have a good a tribe so let's let's just go back into this here so you know the original one did 2 million for piggyback this is 5.6 you're already upping it by about 3 point something million uh, so definitely worth it guys. So I will say this, uh, any of the other tribes that are T-Tribes like Comrades and and uh, New Team 7 is still really worth using. No matter what, it does stack and it does scale really well. So even if you have a lower lower team, like let's say you're into 200, 300, a lot of people are asking like, hey, should I stick with co-op or should I keep doing tribes? Quite honestly, if you're fighting T-Units and D-Units, stick with the tribes. If you're fighting A-Units, then you may want to stick with co-op because you probably will pull off a little more damage. But just test, like that's what we're doing. We're, we're all sitting here and testing, like a lot of us are, are doing this right now, providing results uh, back to each other's uh, alliances. And right now I think uh, Connected by Feelings is connected feelings is by far the strongest try for ATB. So a lot of us were skeptical to get it up before this, this came out because we're like, hey, you know what, a couple more banners, we may see some new tribes come out that'll, that'll pretty much destroy Connected by Feelings. But quite honestly, it still reigns supreme as the best tribe to use in ATB. So guys, there's a reason now to use tribes. There's a reason why to use Papa Sasuke specifically. Uh, Mama Sakura has always had a role. Uh, Sarada UR has been always decent, but Papa Sasuke has always been, you know, trash bagged on. So now at least we can take him out of the trash and actually clean him up a little bit and use him in this. And everybody, if you don't know this, your unit's single uh, power attributes like attack, damage increase rate, etc. All that will affect your tribe's damage. So make sure you guys are using that uh, because if you're not leveling up your characters and you're just kind of letting them sit idle and then just leveling your tribe up, you will not get its full effect. Your units do matter. So make sure you guys are putting that effort in and getting that up, okay? Now, I'm curious to see at the end of this where we're at in terms of uh, ISC, but I think we're, we're pretty much going to be not downing Datora today. We'll probably do very close to killing him, but most likely finish him off tomorrow. Now tomorrow we're going to be attacking uh, Sasori and Pain, and most likely taking those guys out uh, fairly quickly, especially Sasori, because we are again using a T tribe. Most of most of ISC does have connected feelings and other uh, new Team 7 and comrades, so we will be using those ones to take these units out as quick as possible. But we'll only do the two turns today, guys, and show you guys the end of this here. And we'll, we'll call it a day just because there's no need to see a whole three turns of this. I have been very lucky. He has not stunned me once yet. So a reset has not been required. Now, the only other thing I could have done here that could have maximized damage even more. And again, I lack time. Is putting Haku in uh, and doing his S2 twice and getting the full benefits of that. I probably could have done closer to 70 million with that instead. So let's see what we pull off here, guys. 
All right, so this is the last one. 35.9, so 36 million. Not bad at all. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that showcase again for T Data. He's super tanky, he's super hard to kill. If you're a newer alliance, focus on somebody else, my suggestion. Uh, outside of that, this is Payne. Have a wonderful night, everybody, and good luck with your ATVs.